we are doing section um, 1.1. So in section 1.1 we're going to be talking about parabolas. And so uh, chapter 11's conic sections, we're going to do parabolas, ellipse, hyperbol hyperbolas, and then we're going to shift them around. So for the first three sections everything's in the everything's centered at the origin and then we move stuff on in section 4. So let's start with the uh, geometric definition of parabola. So our parabola here is a set of points of a plane that are equal distance from a fixed point, which we call F, um, or the focus, and a fixed line called the directrix. And so this, this is just easier to sketch. I'm just going to put everything here. So here we're going to have our vertex centered here at the origin. We're going to have a focal point right up here. We're going to have our directrix. There will be some sort of line. Uh, let's choose a different color. Right here, back right here, okay. and the thing is, is that this length here and this length here should be the same. This length here, this length here should also be the same. And so, no matter which, so this point to this line uh, should always be the same length. I should, these should be drawn a little bit more straight. There we go. Um, should be, oops, let's fix this real quick, so from here to here, this is the same length, and this is the same length, this is not drawn perfectly to scale, and so we call this right here the focus, call this line down here the directrix, Let me call, this is our vertex right here. Here, um, here we'll have an axis of symmetry. And so here's the axis of symmetry right here. Splits the thing right down the middle. This is our parabola, of course. And so here we just kind of named all this stuff. Okay, so this is what we have here. Alright, so let's talk about let's talk about this. And so look so let's actually get into the formula. So here we have a parabola with a vertical axis. And so we'll have x squared equal to four py is our is our form for the equation. The vertex for the first section is always going to be at the origin. The focus is uh, whatever p is, so zero p and then the directrix will be in the negative direction. The problem, if p is positive, um, uh, the directrix will open upward, and if it's, if it's negative, it will open downward. And so in this case, we'll have, it looks like this, we'll have our p here, so here we'll have p greater than zero. And we'll have our line down here. And so here will be our y equals to minus p. This will be at the point zero p. Our focal point will be at zero p. If p is less than zero, then our focal point will be below. So it'll be at zero p here. And then here we'll have y equals to minus p. Remember, if p is less than zero, this line will be positive, and it opens downward here. If we have uh, probably a horizontal axis, we'll have y squared equals uh, 4px. And so here, the vertex for this first section is always here. The focus point will be at p0, and the directrix will be at x equals minus p. And it opens to the right if p is positive, and left if p is negative. So here we'll just start with p is positive. So if p is positive, we'll have our focal point right here at p0. We'll have our directrix line right here at x equals minus p. And then we'll have our parabola come like this. And if p is less than 0, um, our point p0 will be over on this side. So p0 is our focal point. We'll have our vertex on this side. So x equals to minus p. And then it'll open, it'll open this way. Okay. And so 
the name of the game for most of this section is just to get whatever equation you get, make it look like this, make it look like this, and then um, just solve for your focal point, your directrix, and all this other stuff. Okay. Um, one other thing I would just like to briefly mention. I didn't put it here, but we'll, we'll need it for the example we're going to do um, in a second. And we want to find out what is the uh, focal diameter. Well, the focal diameter is just this, just how long this is. And so that's our, so this is our focal diameter. And our focal diameter here is equal to the absolute value of 4p. Okay. And so that's our focal diameter. And that's the same for um, that's the same for um, horizontal or vertical. It's always this, it'll be the same. Okay, so let's crunch through some of the problems. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom on in. Let's just do four of these. I have one example of each type. So we want to find the focus, the directrix, and the and of the parabola, and the focal diameter, and then sketch its graph. Okay. So in, in each of these, we're going to have to write x squared equals to 6y. But, in, but we need to do more than that. x squared is equal to 4 times um, hold on, 3 halves y, because we need to pull out the 4. And so this looks like what we want, x squared equals to 4py. So what's p here? Well, p is equal to 3 halves, and so that's 3 halves. And so here, um, let's just go ahead and put this, let's make this 1, and so we'll make this minus 1, and then we'll make this up at 1, and then minus 1. So just put in a scale that makes sense, right? So 3 halves would be here. Um, So three halves would be here. My so there's the focal point of oops, hold on. This is x squared, so this is uh, opens upwards, so here's our focal point of three. So it's zero, three halves is our point. Our negative line here will be at minus. Our directrix line here would be at minus. Our y equals to minus three halves. Here we'll have a parabola that opens, and then here, this length right here should be the absolute value of 4 three, uh, times 3 halves, which is just 6. Okay, so our focal diameter here is 6, so that's our focal diameter. So this is our P, so our focal point is at 0, 3, my uh, directrix line. So here's the directrix line, here's the focal point, and it opens up like this. All right, so for figure seven, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make it look like x squared equals sum for p y. So to do that, we're gonna move over y. And so we'll have eight x squared equals 12 y equals to zero. And then we'll have x squared equals to, um, oops, I moved over, this should hold on, hold on. What I wrote there didn't make any sense, minus 12 y. And then we're going to move over, divide by the 8, and so I'll get minus 3 halves y. And so, and then here we're going to have to do x squared is equal to, ooh, this doesn't end up being as clean as I hoped. Um, so we'll have a 4 times minus 3 eighths y. Yes. Okay. And so here, our p is equal to minus 3 eighths. And that's relatively small. So we'll use the same scale we used before. So uh, 1 minus 1, oops, 1 and negative 1. And so this one, the focal point here is negative 3 eighths. So that's a little less than half. And so it'll be right about here. So I have 0 3 eighths. Okay. Um, my directrix line would be 
it's negative it's negative of that, so it'll be at y equals positive three eighths. And so and then it just and then this just opens up downward. I'm gonna go like this. Okay. The only other thing we need to find out is what is my focal diameter. So my focal diameter is this, just the absolute value of this right here. So my focal diameter is minus three halves, or positive three halves, right? Because the diameter here, the this distance here would be three halves. Okay. All right, we're going to do the same thing here for the y values. And then I'll actually show you the real graphs. Um, you don't For these, you don't have to be super precise. I mean, um, as long as it's opening up the right direction, the focal points there, and all this other stuff, right, you're just good to go. And for those who are doing this remotely, you can be doing almost these all online anyways, and so you'll be able to use a calculator, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, so notice for these two, these have y squared, and so we're going to be using the horizontal one. And so you're real tempted just to make this look like the other one, but you, you or just leave it as is, but you really need to move the 12 over, so it'd be 1 12th x. And then here, this gets really small. Um, you pull out a 4, so this would be 1 48th x. Um, yeah, so this is gets really small, <laughs> and we're talking really small. So p here is one forty eight. Okay, and sometimes you just get really small stuff, and so you're going to have a really, um, in this case, we're going to have just a really slender um, thing that opens. And so here, no scale makes a ton of sense. So we'll just use the one we've been using. I just want you to be aware that sometimes you're going to have very small p's. All right, so here it's like your focal point's right here. Your, your line will be right super close. This is exaggerated a little bit where we have x equal to minus 1 48th is my directrix line. My focal point here is 0, 1 48th. And then here the parabola comes in really quite sharply. Okay. And then here, this distance here would be the absolute value of this, and so my focal diameter, so my focal diameter here is equal to one twelve, okay? Or the absolute value of four p, which would be one twelve. Once again, for here, we'll have to move it over onto the x. So I have y squared equal to one over a negative one over thirty two x. Um, just to make sure I do my math correctly, let me just double check something real quick. I should have done this before the video, so uh, just want to make sure I do 32 times 4 right. Yeah, it's 128. And so here I have 132. So if I want to pull out a 4, I got to multiply this by 4 and pull 4 out here. So I'm basically multiplying by 4 over 4 and just stuffing the 4 into there. And so when I do that, I'll get 4, negative 128x. And so here it's really small again. So p equals minus 100, 128. And so here we'll have our focal point right about here, but the same. And here even even if I put make my 1s here, 1, 1, 1, and, or minus 1, minus 1, always at the end. Here I'm still exaggerating. This, this is a super close, and so we'll have x equal to minus 128 is my directrix. My focal point here is at, um, oops, I wrote this backwards. I wrote this one backwards, because I almost wrote this one backwards. It's at p0. It's at p0. Don't mind my dyslexia. So this is at 148 over z zero is my focal point and this one will be at minus 128 oops I don't have to write it that small let me give me more, some more room so minus 128 zero 
And so this is extremely sharp opening up in the other direction. Oops. And all of these, if I have not drawn them correctly, our vertex is at the origin. My vertex is at the origin because that's what we're doing for the first couple sections. So this should be at the origin. So here they're roughly graphed, but let's look at a let's look at a better graph for the end of the video. Let's look at the real graphs of these things. All right. So here I'm just using Desmos here, right? Um, and I'm doing it on election day, so you can see a happy vote sign. So here for our first one, we got it to be equal to 6y. Notice this is the same thing, that these are the same line. It's a good thing just to type it in both ways and make sure you did your math correct. And so here we have this. And so notice here, we'll look at all the things. So here our focal point was uh, 2 thirds or 1.5, so right about here. My direction line would be right about here. And notice that here at 3, it's from minus 3 to positive 3 is 6, and so this is my focal diameter. It's the point that goes through my focal point, and so that's my diameter here. Okay, um, let me actually draw that in so it's easy to see. So we're just going to have y equal to 1.5, and so here you can see this is the focal diameter. And then we're also going to draw in y equals to minus 1.5. And so here we have our directrix. And so this length and this length are the same. 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 And so this is what it looks. So we've done one completely. And so that's what this one looks like. Here the uh, here's the other x squared one which opens downward, and so that's this one right here, and so here we have it open downward, and, our, and then for this two small y's, here we have this one, it opens up very narrowly in this, and to the right, and this one opens up very narrowly to the left, as we suspect, okay? So that's the end of these notes, um, and we'll see you in the next video.